So the project is to build a wrist mounted computer such as this, which is a real one, out of nothing but bits. So we've got some bits, some circuit board, and an Arduino, which we use to power the brains of the thing. So basically you just need to put some of these bits on there, and they're controlled by that. Easy. First idea is to have these four numbers in the corners just giving random information and then a big sweep of LEDs going up and down like a search pattern or something. That's the first idea anyway. If we can wire it together, it will be good. Right, so the basically all the LEDs are on now and soldered. Lovely, awful soldering. Wired up to the Arduino, which is at the moment just doing a test pattern. Not that it'd be much different from the actual pattern. and it's just doing that at the moment which is what it's doing pretty much all it's going to do anyway and then these are going to go through some numbers I'm running out of channels on the Arduino so they're just going to go between number one three and eight probably something like that nice and simple and there you go we're getting there so all we've got to do now is put the rest of the wiring in and then some kind of screen for it and some buttons down here to change modes and that's a message okay now it's just set up on a different program just to do that show pattern there which I don't want and these are flashing quickly between 3 and 1 too quickly really to see and they're just dashing 1 I've got a few more wires to add to the back of it and then I can start to write the program for it properly okay so that's it I see all the LEDs are in there somewhere there we go Put a screen on it of some kind all made up C5X target rangefinder, signal to noise ratio, gain, swar, and mix which means absolutely nothing. Let me plug it in. Boom, and there we go. It is scanning. And then if you press the button, which it doesn't have yet, it does this. Ultra scanning or something. Then you let go and it's back to scanning again. That's it. That's basically the circuit built and designed, and that just needs to be built into a wrist or watch type thing. There you go. Okay, this is the mold for the Daddy. surround. So you're gonna go. The screen goes in there. Kind of thing. All that cardboard, fiberglass it in, pop it out, and just tear the cardboard off. Okay, the mould fibreglass has gone off in there, and that's a case of just soaking off the cardboard until we're left with this though. And then the um, we'll just leave what I want. Thanks, Rob. Okay, so now the circuit board is lightly fixed in there because I don't want this in there forever. So it's got the tiniest little double glue in there. All the wiring is running through. Batteries just fit in. Just, 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 and there you go, that's it as it is now. Uh, yes, I don't know if I'm going to cover those wires up or leave them as part of it, I don't know. I'm not sure. A bit frail, I don't really want it to break, so I might have to cover those up with something. They're the holes for the switches. And yeah, basically now it's all about finishing it, painting it, sticking little bits on, and that's it. Okay, it's now complete wiring wise. So it has the switches and all the wiring. So it basically power switch. So that's it running. And then mode switch. There we go. And then back to that. And power. So I won't set that wiring again until I salvage the Arduino out of it, so it's time to seal it up and paint it. Okay, that's now masked off for the screen, it's all kind of really badly rubbed down. I covered that up with a plastic thing because I didn't like the look of the wires, but it all still works. Get the right switch. There we go. There we go. So, nice thick coat of primer, 
and we'll see where we're off from that and we can sweat all the rest of the uh, problems we have of it. Okay, so we've added some bits to it just to make a bit more detail. So a cooling fin type thing. Um, those are like little sensor microphone things. And a few little bits and pieces here and there. And that's just a case of spraying it really. So that is why I should mask that off actually. Don't want that going black. Okay, and that's it. And this is it clean before Joey decimates it. <laughs> One last shot there you go. before it's destroyed. Yeah. It was lovely and clean, fresh out of the box. Yeah, Joe, <laughs> definitely the white one to go. Yeah, Joe's gonna sort that out. This is definitely the white one to go. It's gonna have to be used. Yeah.